first of all, I just want to set some boundaries and just let you know that this is a project that we are doing for one of our clients. So it's really important. And um, we want to put forward to the client the best possible ideas. Now, normally, this level of brief would be given to maybe first year graphic design degree students. But we're taking a risk here. We're going to give it to you to work on. Because we want to see, first of all, what you're capable of, what ideas you come up with, and the approach that you take. So, the client is, is basically a drinks company based in Wales called Elan Valley. Now, Elan Valley is a place. So the first thing that I would suggest that you do is to take a look at some of the images just on Google of what is there in Elan Valley and what the area is known from, whether that is landmarks or products that they produce as a region. So what they're looking for is they're going to start making tonic water. So, but not just ordinary ton tonic water, but tannically infused tonic water. So they are a small, high-end, expensive, boutique-style drinks company, and they specialise normally in creating gins, so flavoured gins, but they want to have tonic water now that goes with it, so that they can increase their product range and that obviously attract not just um, drinkers of alcoholic products but also non-alcoholic sort of drinkers. So every bottle that they create is unique because and customizable because they actually pick ingredients from the local hedgerows and flowers to infuse the tonic water with. So it really is a magical botanical experience that they want to create. So because the tonic water is high end and expensive and bespoke, they're gonna attract a certain type of customer. So think about the type of person that would buy this tonic water and what is going to appeal to them. They may be connoisseurs of gins or vodkas. They may just like buying bottles that are unique and look different that they're able to offer their friends or their guests if they're at events or if they've got people coming into their home. So there are a couple of things that we need you to start looking at. So first of all, we want you to research into the area, what comes out of the area. Are there any things, any landmarks in the area that could influence the design of what's created? So the requirements are a logo, so you need to come up with a logo for this tonic water and a strap line. Then you need to create an advert, so design an advert to, to basically attract this audience that we're talking about. We need you to look at the design of a bottle, we don't ask, want you to create the design, we just want you to look for ideas for the design of the bottle. And then also, what label would go on that bottle, bearing in mind what your logo looks like and what your advert looks like, then the label on the bottle will also need to look consistent and of the same sort of theme. And then a presentation box to put it in. So you know, like sometimes you see sort of um, ports and expensive drinks presented in boxes. Champagne often is presented in boxes, so they want to put their tonic water into boxes. The next thing you'll need to look at is the competitors in the area. So the competitors, there'll be more, but just to give you some examples, so the competitors in the tonic water industry are Fever Tree, Schweppes, Fentimans, and the London Essence Company. And we'll give you this brief anyway, so you don't need to remember all these things. But remember that you can also take inspiration from the gin and vodka market. So look at, so there's some Welsh gins, um, Arbor Falls, there's one called Gin Mare, there's one called In the Welsh Wind, have a little look at those. And then vodka, look at Absolute, the way that that bottle is presented. AU Vodka in the Gold, presentation of a distinct brand. Grey Goose and of course Smirnoff. So have a little look at the way that other brands present their bottles. 
Now this is not an alcoholic, but remember it is a tonic water, so it may have a slightly different feel to their gins, but it's the tonic water that we are looking to create a brand for and all these elements. Now you're going to only have the time that you would normally spend with Chris, which I believe is two hours per week, Chris, isn't it? Yeah. So there isn't a huge amount of time, but what I want to do is I want to see how far and the ideas that you've got, like halfway through, because if I can give you feedback at that point to steer you into something, you know, or tell you which areas need working on a bit more, which bits have done, move on from that now, you've done enough in that area, it just means that at the end of it, you're going to have a really lovely piece of work that could go in your portfolio. So if we can get to that now, early on, just imagine what you can do in, you know, sort of in the, in the future for future projects. And this is the way that I would brief our designers in, in our team. So it's no different. Uh, yeah, good to work. I think that um, it's come on since we chatted. We are looking at white labels when we have that time, so of course, um, you know, that's developed. Are you the group that I said to go and draw the logo quickly? Yeah, yeah. 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 So we, uh, and we did we it. Did. We did do it yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said for them to go back to the classroom and just get a pen out and just draw their interpretation yeah. of that, um, of the dome sort of shape. It looks great. <laughs> it's really playful, yeah. which is like contrasts against the target market, which is really nice. Mm. Really nice. Um, I really like the design of the slides. We'll put the slides together. Uh, Davey. Nice. Yeah. I like the little flourishes yeah. on the sides very much in keeping um, with the sort of whole feel of the brand, which is really nice. And that's something to bear in mind as well, is if you are presenting ideas to clients, don't just think about the concepts themselves, but think about the surrounding sort of design of the presentation or the video or the background or, you know, anything that you can um, sort of use to help sort of set the scene. Um, <laughs> I'd written down, I like the way that you thought about the cut lines and the, and the sort of where the glue would be, I suppose, on the box or the fold lines mm -hmm. and, and also bleed. Because um, those are things as a designer that you're going to need to bear in mind if you are ever working on packaging. 
I put the logo on that box though, the logo's not there. Yeah. So get that on there yeah. because I think it was missing that. I think that would be good to add and there's plenty of space obviously to add that. Um I just think that it would have been nice maybe to sort of see your final colour palette and you might touch on that in a moment, Rian, but it would have been nice to have a slide with some of the colour palettes, your final decisions. And we've said this to a couple of the other groups that, you know, you were actually the only group that had the final logo presented in all its glory, nice and simply on, on a screen, because the whole presentation needs to follow a bit of a story and yours actually is probably the closest to the to the story that we wanted so you've got obviously the brief right at the beginning you've got your team roles you'd expect to hear about that up front then it's your interpretation about it you know the, the logo design the sort of you know the packaging and all your thoughts around that and then show us all the final packaging the final label and the final logo at the end of the presentation so that is exactly the right sequence of a sort of a pitch presentation or a presentation to a client showing a con you know sort of concept so i think that, that you've done really well there mm. um i love your first screen <laughs> go, back, go back to your first screen for me <laughs> I, yeah that already you get excited by what you're going to yeah. see so i think you absolutely nailed that first screen was great um did you did do any of the drawing of those flowers no, i don't Okay. <laughs> if um, if any of you are any good at painting or illustrating or anything like that, I think that would be a hell of an enhancement to this. Is if you could put pen to paper and come up with it. Your little drawing of the Elon Valley yeah. Tower. If you could do that, you could do, do a really good. Cool, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could do simplify that. Doesn't yeah. have to be yeah. that much detail. Yeah. Um, and that would just make it so much more unique mm -hmm. to you. So there's like, that slide on, on some of the slides, you've got like that little black flourish that comes in from the corner. Yeah. I think it's, where is it? Like, oh, that's in white yeah. there. But then there you've, got, black, you've got it in black it somewhere. Yeah. yeah, there. Yeah, I love that. Like you could have drawn yeah, something so. and to, to sort of go there instead of using something like, you know, obviously off from Canva. So anything unique that you could throw into it just makes it stand out yeah. more, doesn't it? Um, go to slide five. All of that stuff moving around is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like it just keeps the viewer engaged all the whole time, basically. So the more that stuff you can put in, you know, you've got to be a little bit controlled with it. Um, but I think you've done it really well there. Um, love the sketch feel. I got it's really simple and it's really playful and it just contradicts the target market, which I think is really important because it makes you think, oh, what's this one? You know, we've seen all these. Or what's this new one that's out? So I think that's cool. Um, packaging looks great. Like I, I really love the way you come up with the box and how all that will work. What I do think would be would be nice is if you could just jump onto something like a free mock-up site, download a PSD file, overlay your artwork. All of a sudden you've got this made-up mock-up. Um, and if you were in the alcohol aisles, take a picture of the alcohol aisles with everything lined up, stick yours in there. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, to make it look as if it's real, this exists. Mm. You know, and I think that you've got, you've got a great presentation there. Yeah, really good. Really as well. Yeah. What does slide say of them? So we'll quickly look at that again. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. We just want to taste it, don't you? Yeah. You, want, you, know, you know that's cold, ice yeah. cold. You know, it's going to be fresh, isn't that, you know? So, I mean, you know, use really good use of imagery on that, I think. So, and the fact that you've thought about, you know, just the text, the short little snippets of text that would go with it, you know, sort of on yeah. Facebook, you know, the thing that's going to capture that audience, that slightly older audience, isn't it, that are going to be on Facebook. So, yeah, oh, good job. Track line's great. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you know, I, I imagine walking into Gin and Juice in Mumbles mm. and seeing a poster like that behind the, behind the bar. Um, I think it's really real, it feels really real. Mm. Good. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Regarding the project, my main job was to make the logo design and make it unique to us and make it stand out from anyone else. Firstly, I looked at Elon Valley and thought of its main features and its main feature is the, the tower. So I took the tower and I drew it by hand and then I took a photo of it and uploaded it to com the computer 
to trace it on Adobe Illustrator. And after some work of me tweaking and playing around with the creation I made, I finally came to my final design and that is our logo. We got feedback from Rachel and Rian. The feedback came back mostly positive, but we did have some things we could work off. Starting off with positive, they liked the colour design we used and the way we designed our slides. They also liked the way we presented our design process of how we're making the bottles itself. They also liked the simplistic logo we used that I personally made. They felt like it was very eye-catching. They wanted us to work on more drawings, maybe by hand, to add to the uniqueness of a project. They liked our effects we used on the slide. They liked the story we made on how it tells our progression through the weeks and how we came up with ideas and how we decide, finally decided on our fi final project. In the future, to make our project better, the main focus would be uniqueness, to make us stand out from everyone else in the market. A good idea we got was to add more hand drawings, for example. The logo was a hand drawing I made, and adding more of those hand drawings would make the project more unique to us.